Hi, boom, Black Horse there. Welcome to Pro Cycling Manager 2019, episode number 23 of the Tour de France. Uh, well, no, episode 23 of the Barry McLaren career mode. Uh, third part of the Tour de France, in which today we'll have Toulouse Bagnard de Bigor, the time trial uh, around Pau, Tarp Tourmalet, Limou Pradalbi, and we'll finish with Nîmes. Nîmes to uh, have a final huge, huge week. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I highly recommend you to uh, do so. Simon Yates just withdrew from the tour. Wait. Was he in a good position, GC-wise? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Oh, hold up a minute. That's a good opportunity to the GC. Uh, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. Uh, let's go filters. Unless they've already put him as a retirement. They have. Uh, can I not see classification after stage 10? I mean, it's not hard. La Plonge de Belfi, he finished 11th. Uh, and... Okay, he was in the top 10 GC-wise. Well, that's an L. That's an L for Mitchelton Scott, who just lost uh, Simon Yates. But yeah, GC-wise was 52 seconds behind Garen Thomas, as we now head to uh, the first real mountain stage, uh, at least for in the Pyrenees. Toulouse, Bagnard de Bigorre, I'm not expecting a lot of gaps today. Uh, but if gaps there are, hopefully they, they'll be in my favour and not against me. And it's go time for the stage between Toulouse and Bagnard de Bigorre. Uh, plus 4 for Dylan Tones, plus 3 for Mikel Landa, that's great, plus 2 for Mark Padden. Alright, we're, we're living good right now. Some attacks already, Mackay, Von Karsbulk, Bistrom and Rob Power. We're going to send Jan Tratnik as soon as possible. Obviously I'm not expecting him to, to get anything today if I'm honest. Especially knowing that Alexandre Genes has attacked alongside Gino Meda, we're fucked. We're well and truly fucked. Uh, the, the plus one of uh, Jan Titanic will not be enough today to uh, to just allow him to get the 10 points. Well, at 10 points at Perros Sourde or at the uh, Urquette dans 6 ans. Um, wait, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna send Peyo Bilbao in the break. Yeah, sure. I can deal with... Uh, with it's, it's not a tough stage. I could deal with um, Landa and, uh, and Dylan Tunes and Mar Padden. We're going to send P.O. Bilbao in the break and see uh, what happens with him. We're also going to send Mark Cavendish as well. There you go. Three riders in the break. Why not? Rob Power has attacked for uh, the uh, Côte de Mont Montoulieu Saint Bernard. We're going to try and overtake him. We are not going to be able to do such a thing. It's going to be plus <laughs> great plus two for Genies and plus one for me. It's, I could have been could have been worse. All right. Bilbao has been dropped with Mark Avenich, but they'll eventually come back. That's perfect. The peloton is uh, trying to catch the breakaway, so their rhythm has really increased. Uh, nevertheless, we're still going to get 10 points right now with Mark Avenich. Bilbao is now going to be protected by Jan Tratnik. Uh, and we'll have to see uh, how things evolve around the, uh, the Col de Persourde and the Orquette dans 6 ans. But for now, the gap is two and a half minutes uh, behind, or well, for a breakaway, being chased by a, a peloton led by a Quick Quickstep and uh, Trek Sigafredo. Bilbao leading the peloton. There goes the attacks of Gino Mada and uh, Rob Power. Jan Tratnik has been dropped. Uh, Bilbao is easy in the wheel of, uh, of Meda. Like, there's genuinely no issues with him whatsoever. Mark Cavendish is, uh, has been dropped by the peloton. <laughs> Great, he's now seven minutes behind nearly. Uh, points for Bilbao today. Great. Ahead of Jonas Koch and Rob Power. And Gino Meda, who only gets, what, four? Yeah, four points, I think, for him. Uh, with some luck, Antratnik could still be in the Polka by the end of the day. We've started the Orquette dans 6 ans, uh, the final seven kilometers of this climb today. Final seven kilometers uh, of a KOM as well. Four riders in the lead. Bilbao, Koch, Power, and Gino Meda. Behind a peloton uh, that isn't led by a specific team right now. It's mainly Bob Jungles trying to pace on his own for, uh, for Julien Lafilippe. Second of the GC, Alaphilippe, uh, who can say thank you to the man behind him wearing a number 71, Thibaut Pinot, who, had he not lost four minutes on a flat stage, would probably be winning this Tour de France. So yeah, thanks Thibaut, Th cheers, France loves you, uh, and yeah, we're going to keep on climbing. Bilbao, um, easy in the lead, well, in the first group. Actually, they're not even relaying as much as I am. Uh, and we'll just try to get the points uh, available at the Orquette dans 6 ans. 
All right, they've attacked. I came back on them. Uh, I mean, it's it's it was cute. It was a nice attack from them. But yeah, we came back. Jonas Kor is going to get dropped. Let's see uh, if with uh, a stronger rhythm, we can maybe say goodbye to the likes of Gino Meda or Rob Power. Rob Power is finished. And so is Gino Meda. 20 points for uh, Pierre Bilbao today. Uh, and Gino Meda will overtake Jan Tratnik for one point, I believe. We're approaching Bagnard de Bigor. We have Peyo Bilbao in the lead, Gino Meda behind him, then we have Rob Power, and then a peloton with 29 riders in there. It, it's everyone's game. It is everyone's game today. 40 seconds. The peloton might very well catch these guys, and Alaphilippe will most likely be fighting for yet another win. Unless we try to do something, but at this point I don't really know what I can do if I'm going to be uh, really honest. Attacks, uh, who's that? That's Bauke Molleman, Julian Lafilippe, who not, hasn't even waited for the descent, for like the sprint, he's attacked. And it's going to be Bauke Molleman, Julian Lafilippe in the lead. They have a 20 second gap over the peloton. But we're going to come back on them. We're going to come back on them. Mikel Landa pacing for Dylan Tunes. Uh, Mark Padden is also here. Two kilometers to go. There goes the final sprint. Mar uh, Mikel Landa starting with Dylan Tunes. Can we get the first win of this Tour de France for us? Will we finally raise our hand on the Tour de France? The answer is going to be yes. Dylan Tunes gets his revenge and wins stage 12 of the Tour de France ahead of Emmanuel Bourman and Mikel Landa. Julien Lafilippe in fourth position. Ben Swift, Rudy Mollard, Eddie Denbar, Thibaut Pinot, Garin Thomas and Jacob Fulzong. But we finally have done it. We finally have a win on this 2020 Tour de France. He's been in an incredible shape ever since this tour started and uh, he's finally rewarded with a win. Dylan Tunes gets the uh, stage in Bagnard de Bigorre ahead of Emmanuel Bourman, Mikel Landa, Julien Lafilippe and Ben Swift. No gaps uh, until Pete Sagan, Bilbao and, pa and Marpaden in the same time. GC-wise, um, Mikel Landa gets a few seconds on, uh, on Garin Thomas. So does uh, Emmanuel Buchmann. Mountain-wise, we're going to lose the jersey, but we're in the exact same points. We have the same amount of points as Gino Meda. Up next, time trial between Po and Po. All right, this is where we could, lo we could lose it all today with Mikel Landa. Should we have a bad time trial? Uh... It's usually a time trial that suits a climber, but you need to be a good time trialist. Something that Mikel Landa isn't. And I have no idea as to how things are going to evolve today. The only thing I know is that Mikel has been incredible in this tour. He's got a great shape, great fitness. If there's one day where he, we can have a great time trial with Mikel Landa, it's going to be today. All right, as Cortina finishes in sixth position, very decent time trial for the uh, Spaniard, we have Jan Tratnik has started his effort. He is uh, our technically best time trialist in the team. Um, obviously, he's not the best climber, so his time is going to be slightly uh, different to what we could expect from someone like Dylan Tunes, who has similar stats in time trial, but better in mountain. Um, but we're still going to see uh, how he competes as Victor Campanart has taken the lead in Po, uh, I mean... Are we really surprised? I'm not. We all know that he's going to get beaten by someone called Julien Philippe nonetheless. So, sorry, Victor. Mark Padden, soon, soon to start uh, in um, in uh, in Po and two riders, to be precise, for the Ukrainian the uh, Ukrainian champion, both on the road and on time trial. So, this guy is never going to wear the Baron McLaren kit for uh, at least one year now. As Mark Padden begins... It's a great day for him. Plus 6 in time trial, plus 4 in mountain. Marpadon may be a dark horse in this time trial. Second intermediate, Marpadon is now 13 seconds behind Eddie Dunbar. Uh, but this is where I think we're going to be able to shine a bit more. We are, we are the uh, better time trialist out of the two. Come on, go on Mark, do it for Ukraine. Eddie Dunbar across the line is going to take first place ahead of Zoran Kraft Anderson. No, he's not. He isn't. He is not. Oh, that is interesting. Zoran Kraft Anderson has done an incredible end of the time trial. Mark Padden is slightly going to be down at the end. But it is enough for the Ukrainian to take first position in Po. 40-09. Uh, and the next threat comes from uh, this guy, Mark Soda, former Movistar. Going to go just in times to 
until he uh, reaches the final kilometer. I have overused Mark, uh, Mark Padden in the final few corners. I had forgotten about this little hill, uh, if I'm going to be honest. Mark Soler across the line. Can he overtake Mark Padden? He was way ahead of me, to be fair. And no, he cannot. 12 seconds behind as Peyo Bilbao finishes his effort as well. The uh, runner-up, I believe, of the uh, Spanish National Championships of Time Trial. Across the line for Peyo Bilbao. It is fifth place behind uh, Padden, Andersen, Dunbar and Mark Soler. Start of the time trial for Mr. Dilantons. And it's a huge day as well for him at the office. We may be uh, looking at... I mean, it, he has better stats than Mark Padden today. That's all I'll say. He has better stats than Mark Padden. So everything is possible. Nero Quintana finishing in fifth place. Mark Padden's second half of the time trial is absolutely monst... It, it's, it's incredible. Uh, plus 4 in time trial today for Mikel Landa, that's going to put him to 70, could be worse, could be better. It is nonetheless still a plus 3, so you can't really expect him, the man to become a beast. Um, but Mark Padden has done an incredible job, and I believe Dylan Tunes has the potential to overtake him. Approaching the first intermediate with Dylan, it's going to be potentially beat uh, ahead of Mark Padden. No, same second as Mark Padden, actually. Uh, we're going to lose time on Chris Froome. Uh, Mark Padden will get overtaken by, uh, by Chris. That is uh, a, a, a fact. That just, I mean, he's too quick. Michelanda, though, about to approach the uh, second intermediate. Oh, sorry, no. Michelanda about to approach the first intermediate. If he was already at the second, that'd be completely crazy. He is ahead of Mark Padden and Dylan Tunes. That's big. That is big. He's also behind Bauke Mollema. That's not as big. Uh, Buchmann. Second place. What a time right now by Emmanuel Buchmann. Ala Philippe, the French time trial champion, going to uh, probably take first place, knowing the knowing the guy. I mean, it is Julien Ala Philippe. Oh, fourth. And Garin Thomas, can he be ahead of his teammate of Ineos, Chris Froome, at the first intermediate? The answer is yes, by four seconds. We have a match on our hands. At the second minute, Mikel Landa is one minute behind Chris Froome. We're, gonna, we're losing 40 seconds on Pino, 50 seconds on Buchmann, who is doing a huge work as well behind. That's not something I'd expected, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I also didn't expect to be behind Bauke Mollema. Alaphilippe, third, and Garin Thomas. Can he retain his first place that he had at the first intermediate? Or Chris Froome uh, is going to beat him here? The answer is... It's still a four-second lead for Gary Thomas. Chris Froome has taken first place ahead of Thibaut Pinot. Van Garderen, Jungels, Mike Up, Mark Padden is now in sixth position as Dylan Tuns finishes his effort. 99 for the Belgian, who gives all he's got and is going to be fourth place ahead of Bob Jungels. I think this is going to be a good thing for us. We have finished this time trial in a very strong manner with all of our riders, whether it is Pelio Bilbao, whether, whether it was Mark Padden. We have a strong finish Something that the others didn't. Uh, Chris Froome in the lead, as I said. Sorry, Thibaut Pinot. Thibaut Pinot takes second. Mikel Landa across the line. It's going to be seventh ahead of Wauke Mollema. Decent. Decent. It's going to be obviously behind Emmanuel Bourgman. Way behind Emmanuel Bourgman, actually. 40 seconds behind him. Julien Lafilippe is going to cross the line to claim potentially a third place. Yep, third place, but Garin Thomas is going to win this time trial in Po. It's going to be a 1 2 for the Brits of Ineos. Untouchable. Thomas from Buchmann, Alafi, Pino van Garen, Tuns, Micah, Jungles, and Mikel Landa. Uh, I've, I've genuinely done what I had to do. I did a time trial and I've limited the damage. GC wise, we are now 1 minute 57 behind Garin Thomas. It's going to be tough, but I genuinely think that the podium is achievable. I think the podium is achievable. We're on the way. Tarb, Tourmalet. It's going to be a, a battle. A real battle for the, the strong ones. And the strong ones only. Um, we're going to send once again Peyo Bilbao in the breakaway. I don't feel like uh, I need more than three riders for the final climb. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how things goes. Plus five for Dylan Tunes. This man is on a mission. He's on another planet. Plus three for Mikel Landa, we love that. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Right, I've just realized something. There is a KOM, and like there's a fourth category climb. No one's in the break. Well, I mean, Gino Meda is not in the break. I'm going to do all I can to get this one point with Jan Tratnik.
If I can get it, that's perfect. Like, it genuinely would be perfect. Go on, Jan. You just need to overtake Alexandre Nias now. That's all I'm asking from you, Chief. All I'm asking. All I'm asking. Come on, go on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, nah, there's, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's going to be Darren Smith. All right, there's a, a lot of new breakaways and uh, the, the 33 rider men group that was at the front is now gone. It's Nara Quintana, uh, followed by Bob Jungles and Kenya Lissond. We have four riders in the uh, peloton. Landa Cortina, Tunsen Pard and uh, Mar Padden. And we'll now head towards, uh, well, towards Pierre Fitt. And we'll soon start the Tourmalet. Uh, hopefully we can recover some energy before that. And yeah, that's, that's going to be great. And we have started the Tourmalet. We have started the Tourmalet. Dylan Tunes at the front. Mikel Landa slightly behind. Uh, if we could take position behind uh, Dylan Tunes, that would be absolutely great. Mikel, no? Okay, great. Cheers. Um, I don't know why I'm pacing 78 right now. Gap with the breakaway is 2 minutes in favor of them. They have, as I said, Jungles, Elisonde and Quintana. Interesting to see Kenny Elisonde in, in such a high place. But, I mean, why not? Uh, behind Marpadon and Peo Bilbao are about to say goodbye to uh, their legs. Although Bilbao is able to, uh, to hold on a bit more maybe than, uh, than Mark Padden. The lanterns towards the uh, tail end of uh, the peloton. Come on. Hold on, big man. Hold on. You've only got 15k to do. It's fine. And, and then uh, you'll have to help your mate. Is that an attack from... It is an attack from Thibaut Pinot. Okay. Who will be the first one to react? Who will be the first ones to react? Buchmann in the world of Peter Sagan. Rob Power is there. Eddie Dunbar. Huge work, but Rob Power. In impressive. Peter Sagan came back on Thibaut Pinot. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But why not? Uh, 22 riders. Everyone has stopped their rhythm. They, I mean, we're literally at a stop right now. Uh, which means that Thibaut is going to get back his energy, able to make probably another attack. We're going to try and take position, actually, behind the Frenchman. If that is something we can do, attack from Thibaut Pinot once again. Peter Sagan will, once again, take the chase behind the Frenchman. Dylan Tunes, still... Why are you st still this far down? Big man, come back up. And we came back on Thibaut Pinot. Well, if we do this all the time, like, the breakaway is going to win. Quintana and... Ki Oh, wow, they've, dro they've dropped Jungles. Okay. Sure, why not? Um... Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to, to see if there's something I can do here. Uh... Wait. No, actually... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to have... Pay your Bilbao to pace. And... No, we're going to have Dylan Tunes to pace. Landa in his wheel and Bilbao is going to protect Dylan Tunes. There we go. We're going to try and use our, our guys as much as we can. We need to... Uh, we, we have a plus 5 with Dylan Tunes. We're going to need to use it at one point. 3 minutes 20 is the lead for Edison and Quintana. But we have started uh, to pace behind... We're going to try and, like, kill some of these guys. Obviously, Pino has attacked twice, but there were very little attacks uh, that didn't cause any uh, any issues. Sherel dropped. Kraft Anderson dropped. Mark Padden dropped. Peyo Bilbao, out of energy. Bob Jungles uh, has been co-op. Thibaut Pino attacks. There goes Thibaut Pino and Dylan Tons jump in the wheel. Jumps in the wheel. Sorry of the Frenchman. We're going to try and hold on until, until Dylan just can't continue. The fact that everyone, including Kasper Asgreen, can follow the attack of Thibaut Pinot makes me completely crazy. Like, why? Pinot has finished his job. Counter-attack from Emmanuel Buchmann, I believe, on the right-hand side of the road. Dylan Tons tries to chase the rider of Bora Hansgrohe. We're gonna have to, to take a decision soon here. Alright. Tons can stop his job. He's done well. Attack from Mikel Landa. Mikel Landa attacks, and we've came, we came back on Emmanuel Buchmann. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Manu Mage, you wanna take a relay or something? Let's see if Chris Froome and Garen Thomas can come back on the Spaniard and the German of Bora Hansgrohe. 
Four kilometers until the summit of the Tourmalet. Dylan Tons has been dropped. But it was to be expected. What I'm also expecting is an attack from one of uh, Dino's guys. And Julian. Julian is dropped. Julian Alaphilippe can no more. Julian Alaphilippe can no more. Neither can Chris Froome. Mikel Lander. Nero Quintana. Garin Thomas. Emmanuel Bourman. That is right now the top four. Thibaut. Oh Thibaut. Thibaut is out. Thibaut Pinot is out. Thibaut Pinot cannot go continue. He cannot continue anymore as well. It's a group of four riders. Nero Quintana is uh, the dark horse. Yeah, he has nothing to play GC wise. Oh, we're going to just rest for a second. Is that going to be an attack from Garen Thomas? I believe it is. Uh, it is. I believe it is going to be an attack from Garen Thomas. We are not going to be able to follow him for a long time. And uh, if anything, we're out. Mikel Landa cannot follow uh, Garen Thomas anymore. Landa has dropped. Buchmann in, uh, is in our wheel. Garen Thomas has finished his job. It's going to be a win for Emmanuel Buchmann, maybe. Buchmann and Geraint Thomas with a huge sprint, but no. Geraint's got it. Geraint Thomas wins at the Tourmalet ahead of Emmanuel Buchmann and Mikel Landa. What a, what a stage. What a stage. What a performance. Geraint Thomas is so strong. Um, Mikel Landa did well, to be fair. He did very well. Uh, also, props to, to Dale Anton, who's somewhere. There he is. He's going to lose positions, obviously, in the GC. Uh, but uh, if if we could stay in the top 10, that'd be quite nice. Huge sprint. Is that Van Garderen? Jeez. Go on. Win for Garen Thomas. 13 seconds ahead of Buchmann. 33 ahead of Quintana. Uh, Pino loses 151. Julian loses 3 minutes. This wise we're going to move up one position uh, and be on the third step of the podium. Dylan Tons only loses one. Big up, Dylan. Huge job as well today. He's been incredible. Uh, but yeah, Garen Thomas has now a 124 lead over Buchmann and 236 over Mikel Landa. We can ask ourselves the question, is the tour already finished? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. As we now have Limou Pradalbi, another mountain stage. And uh, hopefully this time we can be uh, a bit stronger. Well then, uh, it's a plus five. That's, uh, that's that's huge. Plus two, sadly, for Dylan Tons. Uh, we'll have to, to manage the climb uh, nearly on our own. Mark Padden has got a plus four. Sorry, bl plus three today. So he might be able to help. Um, but damn, plus five for Michelander. Go on, lad. Go on. That's, that's the kind of content I like to see. Uh, a lot of climbs today. We're not going to send anyone in a break. Although I could potentially send Bilbao, but I don't think that's why I would have if Dylan Tons had, a, a had, sorry, had had a better day. Uh, Mark Evan Dinjo, plus five. You know what? Sure. Yeah, sure. Go in the break, Mark. Have fun. If you can climb with, like, if you can still be in the breakaway after the, uh, the sprint, that'd be nice. That'd be 20 points for you. All right, we are in the Mur de Peguerre. We're going to try and avoid being blocked with uh, with Mikel Landa. There is one guy left in the breakaway, that is Michael Woods, uh, but he should be co-op rather soon. Um, Gino Meda got some points at the uh, Col de Montségur and uh, on the Port de l'Ers, which were enough for him to uh, have an actual advantage now against um, Jan Tratnik, which isn't fun, but... It's only like seven points, I think. So it's something we could uh, come back from in uh, the future should we try to uh, to go once again in the breakaway with him. Mikel Landa is going to come back at the front of this group here. Mark Padden has done a stellar job. Dylan Tons slightly dropped, uh, but we should be able, I believe, to come back. Um, at least I hope so. There he is. There goes Dylan Tons back in the peloton. Love that from him. Um... We're going to catch Michael Woods, here we go, and we're also going to go with uh, Mikel Landa to take the uh, KOM points at the summit of the Mur de Peguerre. Dylan, I beg you stop dropping, I'm only pacing 70 with Mikel to make sure that you don't get dropped. That's my only reason as to why I'm pacing this low. Uh, but Mikel Landa has done what had to be done. Great, perfect. We're now, Mikel Landa is only 10 points behind Ginomeda. Alright, we're going to start the Pradalbi. Dylan Tons, uh, well, Mark Padden, Dylan Tons, and then Mikel Landa, wherever he is, there he is. If we can take the wheel of Dylan Tons. Great, perfect. Um, 10 kilometers is the length of this climb. Uh, we're just going to have a steady rhythm at the front. 
with Mal Padden. Um, is that an origin attack? It is origin attack from Thibaut Pinot. We're going to accelerate with the Lentons. Pinot, Molema, and Julian Philippe. Valverde, Barguil, Jacob Fulusang. Everyone is trying to, uh, to, get a, to make a move in uh, the early slopes of this Pradalbi where the uh, percentages, where the, the gradient, sorry, is uh, by far the steepest. Gavin Thomas is being extremely uh, stuck to my wheel. I'll have to be honest. And it is quite surprising. It is, yeah, it's weird. Especially knowing that uh, we've now been dropped by, uh, by everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay, may maybe this uh, th this train isn't exactly the the best plan I've ever done I've ever had. Interesting. Uh, Marpadon though still going strong. Dilantons as well doing what has to be done, and then we'll have Mikel Landa to um to work. I think that's where uh, things will have to uh, to be uh, to be worked. But uh yeah, Boras three guys at the front here. All right, let's uh let's train change strategies here. Let's have Dilantons protecting Mikel Landa, and uh, we're going to work our way through this roads. Buchmann has attacked with Pino, Alaphilippe, and Bauke Mollema. We then have Froome, Garin Thomas, then Dilantons, Mikel Landa, uh, but that's going to be it for Tons and for Mark Padden. Mikel Landa working his way up the road, trying to come back on uh, Garin Thomas. The gap is 30 seconds for, uh, for Buchmann, Alaphilippe, who oh, actually Alaphilippe... Uh, yeah, no, he's holding on. He's holding on. He's doing what he can. Landa trying to come back on Garen Thomas. We're going to come back actually on him, and we should we should soon come back on uh, the three riders at the front. We're gonna let uh, Garen Thomas do the work here. Three k to go. It is a five riders group at the front attack from Thibaut Pino. Can I not? Why can't I follow Garen Thomas? Okay, sure, why not? Attack from Thibaut Pinot. He is three minutes down compared to me, GC-wise. I don't really need him. Why can I not follow anyone? That's so weird. I wanted to follow, like, Garen Thomas. Well, right, we're, we're going to come back either way. And we may be, uh, we might be the dark horse today. We might be able to to go something and do a sprint. 800 meters to go. Michelanda starts his sprint, his effort towards the summit of the Pradalbi, and it's gonna be a win for Michelanda at the Pradalbi today, ahead of Garen Thomas, Emmanuel Buchmann and Thibaut Pinot finishing in respectively third and fourth. Ala Philippe in fifth. But it's yet another win for Baron McLaren on this Tour de France. That's two. As a uh, Dylan Tons will soon finish. We've done we've done what had to be done. We won. 12 seconds is the lead we are going to get on uh, Garen Thomas today. And 29 on Bourman Pino Alaphilippe following uh, this win at the Pradalbi. Uh, Dylan Tons in 12th position. We're going to lose a few positions. I think the, the top 10 is going to be uh, quite ropes for Dylan Tons. But GC-wise, he's still in there. He's still in there. He's 12 minutes down. Garen Thomas, 141 ahead of Buchmann, 224 ahead of Mikel Landa. We are going to come back. I can f I can feel it. I, I know it. Um, Sprint-wise, still à la Philippe. Mikel Landa, though, is now fourth. Go on, lad. Um, and Mikel Landa takes the lead in the mountain classification ahead of Gino Meda, avenging uh, good, old, uh, good old Jan. Best, young, best team is still us. We have one more stage between Nîmes and Nîmes. It's a flat stage. Uh, let's try to finish this episode with a, with a, a third win. But uh, we, we've seen how poor Cavendish is. I don't think we'll be able to do so. And we're on the way in Nîmes for the final stage of this episode. Plus 5 for Cavendish, plus 5 for Mikel Landa. We're going to have an incredible last episode. I can tell you right there, if you're not subbed to the channel, I don't know what you're doing. Do it. You're going to miss the biggest episode probably of the, of the career mode so far. It's going to be pure madness, but we now have 175 kilometers to hold on to. We're going to send Jan Tratnik in the break just in case we have a break we're winning. Uh, at least we'll have a, a fast guy up uh, up there. But yeah, this is going to be... Wait, wait, wait. Is the Genkob attacking? No. No, okay, okay. We're just pacing. Love that. Rudy Barbier, though, that's definitely a fast guy. Uh, but Jan Tratnik could smash him. Okay. If the breaker wins, we're fine. If not, we've got the peloton with the Man's Express, Mark Cavendish. Well, we're going to attack at the front with Jan Tratnik, uh, because the breakaway just hasn't been cooperating at all, and I feel like I might be better on my own. 
Um, yeah, like Valgren and Sagi were gone. I don't know. I feel like maybe maybe it's the wrong choice. Maybe it's the correct one. Uh, Van Hoydonk is going to catch me. Same for Eduardo Affini. If these th two guys could relay me, then we might be able to, to fight for the win. Uh, but if not, Mark Cavendish is there. Only two riders left. Jan Tratnik and Daphne Van Hoydonk has exploded. Um, we are readying ourselves for the final sprint here. Dylan Tunes, Garza Cortina, Mark Cavendish. We could potentially use Phil Bauhaus. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna not, I mean, I completely forgot that he was in the team, but yeah, we, we, uh, we're going to use him. Um, 5k until the line. There goes Dylan Tunes. That's finished for the breakaway. Dylan Tunes increases his rhythm. Where's, wait, where's, where's my train? Where's Mark Cavendish? Why is Mark Cavendish not in a good position? Shit. Uh, Mark, Mark, take the wheel of Bauhaus. Yeah. Bauhaus, take the wheel of Cortina. Yeah, great. Cheers. Love that. Okay. It's going to be Tunes, Bauhaus, Cavendish. Not your uh, usual lineup for us today. Mark has already lost because uh, he, he got blocked, which is a shame. And the win today is going to be for Arnaud Demar. Arnaud Demar wins ahead of Caleb Ewan, Christophe Matthews, Renewegen. I genuinely thought, think that Mark could have done something. Won't lie. I think Mark could have done something. He finishes in 7th, Bauhaus in 10th, uh, and obviously no gaps whatsoever. And it's yet another win for a Frenchman on this Tour de France. The, I, don't, I just don't know what's going on with with, him, well, I mean with us, but we're just too good, I believe. Uh, Cavendish in 7th, Bauhaus in 10th, GC-wise, uh, Lambda is still 3rd. Points-wise, Caleb Ewan re reclaimed the green jersey. He's now 80 points clear of Mikel Landa and 18 points clear of Julien Alaphilippe. As we uh, wrap this episode, episode that I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you haven't done so already, then consider subscribing to the channel uh, for very regular content and mainly for the end of the Tour de France, which just appears to be completely mad. Everyone has a fitness peak except from Phil Bauhaus. This, it just is going to be a madness. We're gonna, it's going to be completely crazy and you physically cannot miss out on something like this. Um, but yeah, I've been Blackwell. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.